Hello, all it's Hacker 7 In today's video, I'm going to show you guys one trick to speed up your internet connection. Now, I get asked a lot how I speed my internet connection, how I get faster downloading, etc. Well, a lot of times, the best way to speed up your internet connection is either to pay for a better plan, get a better computer, or just get closer to your internet. But there are a few tricks here and there that can improve your speed. Now, I'm not me. I'm not into um, doing videos that are lies to get views. Um, all my videos work. I well, I hope they work, and I try and be loyal to people who watch my videos. So I'm going to come out and say right now, this trick isn't for sure going to work 100%. It can actually possibly slow down your internet. Now, this trick is very easy to reverse, and I will show you guys how to basically go back to default again, and. It's pretty simple, but odds are it's going to work and speed up your connection a little bit. Now, if you're interested in trying it out, feel free to watch the video. If you're not so interested, don't worry about it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to change your DNS server. Now, by doing this, a lot of times you can speed up the internet connection. So for those of you guys who aren't so techy and don't know what a DNS server is, basically it stands for Domain Name System and basically matches a domain name like for example google.com to its associated IP address so for them it's 173.194.39.78 now it sounds very complicated but it's really not basically it's just a server that kind of points your computer towards a IP address so you can connect to it basically you type in google.com and your DNS server currently points you at Google the video you're watching right now your DNS server sent you to that link so there are some security concerns when switching your DNS. Um, this being, well, if you're with a faulty DNS, then they can kind of track what you do. So they can kind of um, send you to the wrong Facebook and get your password, etc. I'm going to show you guys two different DNS servers today, which is OpenDNS and Google DNS. Both of these are very reliable, and do not worry, they're not stealing your passwords or anything like that. Um, they're very reliable, and don't have to worry about them. The only thing that you have to worry about with, for example, the Google DNS is that they could be tracking how the websites you visit and giving you ads related to that. But if you're not too interested, if you don't care too much about that, then you're good to go. Now there are some pros to the DNS. Again, sometimes it actually speeds the internet up depending if you're actually close to one of the DNS servers, you will see your internet speed go up drastically because you're physically close to it. As well as open DNS gives you the option to block certain websites. So for example, if you have kids, you can set up open DNS on your router. And whenever they're connected to your router, um, pornographic websites and just adult websites will be automatically blocked. They won't have the option to go to them. So now that you guys kind of know what DNS servers are, I'm going to show you guys how to apply one. So here are the codes. Um, basically here's the one for open DNS and here is for Google DNS and I'm going to show you guys how to apply that. So what you want to do is head over to your control panel. Now once you're in your control panel, this works for all windows by the way, go to network and internet. Then what you want to do is go to network and sharing center change adapter settings what you want to do is find your current internet connection so whatever usually whatever one has the bars or is it like currently connected so for me I have a Wi-Fi one which is Wi-Fi and Scooby is my what is my um, wireless router's name so you're gonna to want to find which one is currently connected the one with the X is not connected so you, you want that so find the one that is currently connected and right click on it and go to properties you will have to be an administrator in order to do this. What you want to do down is scroll down to Internet Protocol Version 4, probably at the bottom, and go to Properties. From here, what you want to do is use the fault right here where it says Obtain DNS Server as automatically. Change that to Use Preferred. And now you have the option to type in either Open or Google. So I'm going to go with the Google one because it's Google. And it's pretty simple to do. Just type in 888. So for me, 8. 8 and go over here 8 8 8 
and the second one is eight eight four four eight eight four four once doing that you have you can click OK and simply there you go so now next time you connect to the internet it's going to load that instead so here you go I'll just do a little test run for you guys so um, you're not gonna really you may notice the difference you may not uh, may want to restart your computer as well but there we go so for me I'm noticing a bit of a difference in speed here we go so there we go and I'll go to Google um, not CA for example so the speed is pretty good and like I said again they may be tracking a little bit and if you're paranoid about that then try open DNS or you can just restore default now if you're noticing that your speed has slowed down which probably won't happen I'm gonna say what 95% chance it won't happen but there's five percent five percent chance it could happen and if it does don't worry just go to your go back to your Wi-Fi properties again go to your internet protocol version 4 again go to properties and simply click obtain DNS server automatically click OK and then give it a minute and there you go you're back to normal again if you want to try out open DNS same thing what you can do is go there and just type in their code instead I believe you can actually copy and paste it which would probably be much easier so you just go there paste in the code and then go to the bottom one and paste in the second code so I would suggest trying out both of them if you're willing to try out a DNS server because one of them may be faster than the other one for you so feel free to try them both out so here I'll, I'll do a little speed test for you guys and you can see they're pretty much very similar for me now me being in Canada um, they're both I know the Google one I believe is in California so it's a bit farther away from me but it's not too bad if you live in like Europe for example um, the Google one may not be your best um, bet but like I said they'll try both of them and let me know in the description below if you notice a speed difference so that's pretty much it for this video guys like I said um, DNS is a thing up to you for example if you have kids open DNS is actually a great idea to uh, limit them to what they can look at and again they could be tracking you a little bit for ads etc but like I said they can't get to control your computer through a DNS server but feel free to try it out guys and for sure leave your comment below if you notice a speed difference whatsoever either fast or slower and leave that in the description below if you have any questions on DNS servers or anything like that feel free to leave it in the description below as well and for sure we'll try and respond um, to your question with my, with my best ability. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker Triple 07, and I'm signing off.